Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to talk to you about other people. I want to talk to you not about yourself, but about the people around you, your family, your friends, or strangers, people you don't really know. I want to talk about these people because I need to talk about how they are not important at all. Obviously your friends and family and whatnot, they are important, but I want to talk about when they are not important. And that is when you care what they think. Seriously, all of you, if you want to become freelancers, if you want to be working on your own and be entrepreneurial, become a freelance translator or a freelancer of any type, at a certain point, you have to tell yourself, I don't care what other people think and I want to pursue what I want to pursue. No matter what other people think or say about me, you know, to themselves or in public or whatever it might be. So I want to walk you through this quickly. First of all, I should say at the beginning that I care what other people think about me. I've always cared what other people thought about me. You know, I've always been very self-conscious. I've always, you know, wondered, oh, are they going to think I'm a dork? Are they going to laugh at me? Are they going to like me? Everyone is self-conscious to a certain amount. Everyone wants to make a good impression. That's normal. That's natural. But what I want to get at here is that you cannot let this rule your life because at a certain point, your life is your own and you need to live it. So you need to be making your own decisions. First of all, let's take a specific example. Say you work with, uh, you know, a bunch of coworkers and you want to branch out on your own and you want to start your own thing. What usually happens is you have a bunch of coworkers and you get together at the bar after work or wherever it might be and you complain about your jobs, right? Oh, the boss did this. Oh, I hate that. Or blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Now, if you pursue your own thing, then... I'm sure that's something everyone talks about. They're like, oh, I'd like to do my own thing. I'd like to do this. I'd like to do that. If you actually do it, then they're thinking, well, I should probably be doing the same thing too, but they'd rather go to the bar and have a drink and complain about their boss. It's a lot easier to complain than to actually do something about it. If you try and if you fail, then they can be like, well, you know, gave it a try, but you're back with us. That's And, th and they feel more justified. They're like, well, if, you know, if I try, I probably fail like that person. So what are you going to do? But if you succeed, well, they're going to feel like they should be kicking their own ass to get something done because they're going to feel kind of like losers. They're like, well, that person succeeded in working for themselves and I'm still here complaining about my boss and they don't want to think that way so even if they're your good friends and they don't even know it like subconsciously they kind of don't want you to succeed and they want you to fail I know this gets a bit weird but let's face it that's kind of how it is when you're dealing with your co-workers you need to take this into account when you're branching off and doing your own thing it, it can happen it's there behind the scenes you know it's not pretty but it kind of is there and you'll notice it every now and then with comments and with things that go on. So what I'm telling you now is to pursue it. If you want to become a freelancer, if you want to work for yourself, then pursue it. You know what'll happen? The worst case scenario is that it doesn't work out and you don't succeed and you're right back to where you are now. But at least you know, at least you went after it and you won't have that what if. You won't be wondering, oh, I wish I'd done this. Oh, what if I had done it? No, there is no downside. The only downside is what people are talking what they're saying about you at the bar. That's not a reason to base your life decision on. You know, you don't want to base your life decision on what some people are saying about you, you know, people you might know or might not know. So screw all that. Just pursue what you want to pursue. In fact, to be brutally honest, I am hoping that you fail at first. Because if you fail at first, then that is a perfect litmus test. Your friends, your true friends, will still be your friends. Even if you're failing, they'll be there for you and they'll help you out. And they'll, you know, they'll want to figure out a way to help you out, do better and stuff like that. If you fail, then you'll start noticing, you know, the ones who are like laughing about you and the ones who really want to help you. And then later when you do succeed, then you'll know which friends to keep and which not to. Because then when you do actually succeed and if you do well for yourself and everything, then everybody wants to be your friend. In parentheses or in conclusion, I should say, just pursue what you want to pursue. Don't worry about your friends or your co-workers or what complete strangers might be saying or thinking about you and pursue what you want to do. Because only when you know for yourself, once you've succeeded or once you know how far you can go and how far you can take it, only then will you really be satisfied. And that is worth so much more than what other people are saying or thinking about you. So please don't let that stop you from starting that should not be a reason to stop or even delay what you're trying to do and what you're trying to start. So just go out there and do it. That's all I have to say about that. So it's kind of a rant. But I do hope that it kind of pumps you up in a certain way or, you know, 
it's that much more push for you to get started and get stuff done because that's my goal with all of this. So go out there and get something done. If you want more videos about freelancing, about freelance translation, then don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, and then if you click on the bell right next to subscribe, you'll be getting notifications as soon as there's a new video up. So you don't have to search for, you know, to see when new videos are coming up. And, uh, but you'll be notified right away. And if you like this video, please click like. That always helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.